get to know Jesus Christ. Make time. When I was a deacon, I was deposed from the church as a deacon. I don't know if you know what a deacon is. That's where you start with the rank. Deacon, then you go to a priest, then a bishop, then a cardinal, then the highest rank. So I'm two more ranks away from the highest rank. Not bad. Just kidding. Um, when I was a deacon, I was deposed from the church. I remained at home for almost six years, five and a half years. Five and a half years of absolute... I don't know. Hell. Five and a half years. Rejected, unwanted. Didn't go to my own church for five and a half years. If the Lord is kind enough and lets me go back to those five and a half years, I'll choose him without blinking my eyes twice. I'll take those five and a half years all day long. I don't want this. I want to go back. The reason why I'm saying this, don't ever whinge and complain about a situation maybe God has placed you in it. Thank Him for it. Because you don't know what is good for you. It is only God that knows what is good for you. The situation may be difficult. The situation may be troublesome. The situation may be very exhaustive. But let God manage your life. Don't do it your way. Let Him do it His way in you. You see, at the time, I could not last. I was in pain. I begged the Lord, please, I want to go back to the church. Why did this happen to me? Why was I deposed? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? But now I've realized the best time of my entire life, this till this moment, were those five and a half years. I would never, never swap them for nothing because there and then I didn't see people, I saw the Lord. So no one can tell me Jesus doesn't exist. No one. No one. That's why now nothing matters to me. Whether I go back or not, whether I have a position or not, I don't care with love and respect. I don't care. You know why? Because this sweetheart is all I care about. Because he made sure that I have learned this lesson. No one ever loves me more than him. I love you, Jesus, my sweetheart. Who cares about the throne? Who cares about this cloth? Who cares about position? Search for the Lord. Search for Christ. I've been asking him to take me. Yeah. I think he gave me a glimpse. <laughs> he said, if you keep on asking, I will take you. But you know what? There is no one, no one and nothing gets anywhere, anywhere, anywhere near what this beauty of all beauties is all about. Nothing. Just love the Lord and trust the Lord. Mm. I love you too, Dad. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. They see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, not you, your Father. 
Now, this is what it's all about. Unless our Father in heaven is glorified, we failed. We failed. In all situations, I think. Just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The Lord is good. When you are pure in heart, you'll see God. When you're a peacemaker, you'll be persecuted by the Christians and you'll be hated by the world. When you're a peacemaker, your own Christians will go against you and the world will hate you. Are you going to stand firm or are you going to give up on the Lord? When you go through a dark tunnel, are you going to say, that's it, Lord, enough is enough, no more? Or are you going to be strong and say, Lord, I'm struggling, but you're with me. I'm weak, but you're with me. I'm about to collapse, but you're with me. No matter what happens, Lord, I am in safe hands. Now, the Lord is this beauty. He's the water that puts that fire off. We need the Lord. Yeah, we need to go through all the persecutions for the Lord's sake in order to be the salt and be a taste in someone's life. We make a difference in someone's life. To be able to do that, we need to go through this. It doesn't come that easy.